Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on Mac Gaming. Today on Identity 5, I'm playing as Coordinator, and I really haven't played her for a really, really long time. And I'm playing with the Black Swan skin, and my goal in this match was to get chased first. That's why I wasn't playing Merc, because every time I play Merc, the hunter just leaves me alone. So I really wanted to get some chase practice and that's why I'm playing as coordinator. However, of course I didn't plan to get hit that early and that's why I used the flare gun to transition to a safer pallet because I didn't want to go down in the first 40 seconds of the match starting. So yeah, I managed to stun the hunter with the pallet and I transitioned back over to this area where the hunter spawned and I tried to do another pallet stun but he changed to the white form and I managed to not get hit by his really long hitbox and then I just left some scratch marks around and then I ran over to the graveyard area because it is a better area to kite after the pallet is gone from the other area so I was very shocked when the hunter just left which I didn't really believe and I knew that the hunter really just lost me for a second so I started searching the box and he came after me again so by this time I have contained the hunter for 60 seconds which was a great job considering how early I got hit I really shouldn't have got hit that early but I was in a bit of disbelief because the hunter just teleported straight on top of me so here I just continued to kite but then the hunter decided to just leave me because we only have three cyphers remaining and he was probably quite worried about the cypher progress so now he's over at the area where three of the survivors are at and i just began to decode the red carpet cypher after i searched for an item i was hoping for maybe a syringe so i could go in for the rescue later but I didn't think I had to worry because we have an embalmer who still had a coffin up so he can rescue the teammates if we need that. I just decoded while he chased my teammates around. I've really missed playing this game and I'm really glad I got to play it again now that it's the Chinese New Year or the Lunar New Year. So here the embalmer saved our teammates by pallet stunning the hunter while he was carrying the enchantress so that was a really great job from the embalmer and by then we really just know that we can really have fun in this match and not really be too worried because we already have nearly only two cybers remaining and the one that the seer is decoding has been decoded a lot already and the one I was decoding was also nearly completed, so we only need one more cipher. And the hunter still hasn't chaired anyone, so it's basically a victory if we don't mess up too badly in the game. Yeah, so as I've mentioned, I always play rescuer during rank matches, so I always pick Merc because he is the best rescuer in the game. But sometimes he gets banned and we really have to play other characters. So sometimes we'll pick Priestess. But I really want to get back to Coordinator because she was always my main. And I will always like playing her the most because she is a bit of a challenge sometimes. But she's also really fun to play as. However, against the new hunters like Percy or sculptor her gun really isn't very useful and the only reason i could pick coordinator was because the hunter used the greeting emote during the waiting lobby so we all knew that the hunter we were facing is the wu chang and if we are facing Wu Chang then we can kind of play coordinator because he doesn't have statues that will block your shot. The Enchantress is now getting rebirthed by the Embalmer's coffin but I was quite shocked because he moved the coffin over to where we were decoding 
so we could not complete that cipher. There I was trying to distract the hunter from finding the enchantress at once and I had to start a new one because they were all there and the hunter is not going to leave this cipher because he knows we are trying to complete it. And now everyone is just trying to distract the hunter while I complete the cipher and we are also trying to protect the enchantress so we hope the hunter won't find the enchantress and that's why we are all running around and leaving scratch marks all over which makes it harder for the hunter to track where the enchantress went and he is really just hitting all the survivors except me because I'm the only one decoding and I didn't understand why one of them didn't come help me decode because if they did actually come over then we could have popped the cypher right there but they didn't so I had to prime the cypher by myself and the seer just went to the door because maybe they expected us to have primed the cypher already however I only just managed to prime it when the enchantress went on the chair so not trusting my random teammates I just went in for the save and I also had Ty Turner so that would be fine even if the hunter tried to tunnel the enchantress and I went to save and then for some reason the hunter didn't tunnel the enchantress he went after me which I was quite shocked so I just ran towards the cyber because I knew I could pop it after he hits me so I popped it here which is slightly late but it doesn't matter because I have enough distance between us and now the hunter just chose to go to the other exit where the seer was trying to open the door and then I tried to warn them but they maybe didn't know I was talking to them so yeah the hunter teleported straight on top of the seer and the enchantress and embalmer are at the other exit trying to open it so yeah the seer is here and I knew that my teammates have not opened the door yet because I think the hunter had claustrophobia so if all survivors are healthy at the end of the game it will take a long time for the exit gate to open and I didn't want the hunter to teleport to my teammates and down them that's why I stayed over here and tried to lure the hunter to come after me and as you can see I've got some elbow pads well, I've got one elbow pad so I can lure him to come after me and then I can also see in the distance that my enchantress teammate is going in for the save so the hunter went after me and I used my elbow pad to put a lot of distance between us and just enough to buy some time for the enchantress to save the seer and at last the seer went down but the enchantress and Balmer and I all escaped so it was a victory so hopefully you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like if you did and subscribe to the channel if you want to. And I'll see you again very soon in the next video. Bye!